Here, I am changing the icon for our Skyrim modding hub. You do not need to do this, as this is for me to make it obvious when I'm opening our mod hub, rather than a random folder, making it clearer to follow. Visit skse.silverlock.org to download our skse file. You can also download skse from Nexus Mod should you wish. Now pay close attention to the versions here. It's the most common mistake made with SKSE installation. Open our Modding Hub folder. Open the game directory. Find the Skyrim SE executable. Right click, select Properties, navigate to the Details tab. Find your product version. If you have just installed Skyrim again, it should read 1.6.130 as seen here. Now on the SKSE website, find the link for the build for the version 1.6.1130, in this case 2.2.5. Forget Anniversary and Special Edition. It does not matter if you didn't buy the AE DLC, you are still running Skyrim Anniversary Edition if your game version is anything 1.6 or above. You just don't have the DLC. Thanks Bethesda for overcomplicating that one. A fair point. Download the zip file using the link provided. Close this window and open up your downloads folder. Right click on the SKSE 7 zip. Hover over extract, then extract to. On Windows 11, you may need to select more options to see this. Open your newly extracted folder. Select the data folder the SKSE 64 DLL and the SKSE loader. Drag and drop these into your game directory. The data folder will merge with the existing data folder. You can delete the remaining files from your downloads folder if you wish. Open Mod Organizer 2. Click the drop down tab if you see SKSE listed here, Mod Organizer 2 has detected the installation of SKSE and set it up for you. Double check the binary path and the start in path to ensure it's correct. The binary path should point directly to the loader executable. The start in path should point to your game directory. If it has not done so, click Edit in the drop down tab. There's a small plus icon. Click it. Click Add from File. Navigate to your Skyrim game directory within Steam. Select the SKSE64 loader and click Open. You can rename this to SKSE if you wish. Under Start In, ensure it points to your Skyrim game directory on Steam. You will need to select the Skyrim folder as a whole for this. Then click Apply. So how do we know it works? Select SKSE from the drop-down tab and click Run. Skyrim will now launch, providing you followed the previous video to generate config files. Once you are at the main menu for Skyrim, hit the key above the tab key on your keyboard. It will open the command line box in-game. Type get skse version and hit enter. If you have correctly installed skse, you will be prompted with the skse version that you have installed. Hit the key above tab to exit the command window you can now exit the game. From Mod Organizer 2, you can add a shortcut to SKSE to the toolbar for easy access. Great job!